Welcome to God's Food for Thought. We're going to continue with the true faith of true believers. And as we spoke a little bit yesterday, we're going to go to Hebrews chapter 11 and look at verses 5 through 7. And this time read it out of the New Century Version. It says, By faith Enoch was taken to heaven so that he would not die. He could not be found because God had taken him away. Before he was taken, the scripture says that he was a man who truly pleased God. And then it says in verse 6, without faith, no one can please God. Anyone who comes to God must believe that he is real and that he rewards those who truly want to find him. It was by faith that Noah heard God's warnings about the things he could not yet see. He obeyed God and built a large boat to save his family. We'll stop there just for a moment. Talking about Noah, God told him, you need to go build this boat. And it took Noah some 100 years or more to build this boat. Now think about it. Noah interrupted his regular life for a hundred years on God's say so. And what would the result be? He would save his own life and the life of his family and get to be a major character in God's plan of salvation. God was bringing judgment and Noah would escape. Jesus said when he comes when he comes back it's going to be as in the days of Noah where people were not following God. Question is how willing are you to be interrupted by God in order to follow him and do what he's called you to do. Continuing in verse 7 it says by faith Noah showed that the world was wrong and he became one of those who were made right with God through faith. You know, the world would accuse Noah of being crazy, foolish, building this huge boat. Imagine people watching him do this for a hundred years or so. And this boat would be the ark of salvation, just as Jesus is the Lord, our salvation. Remember, God told him how to build the ark, and he said, just build it with one door only. Entering that door would provide salvation. Not entering that door would leave you in judgment. John 3, 16 and 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that Whoever believes in him should not perish. Now, remember, we're talking about Jesus and the, and the ark that Noah built. Would not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Jesus said, I am the door of the sheep. Just as there was only one door, for the ark of safety from God's judgment, there is one door, one Jesus, one way to go. Jesus said that he is the door. What's the purpose of the door? To walk through. We do all things through Christ who gives us strength. Jesus is the entrance to God's kingdom and eternal life. For all who believe what? The truth. All who believe the truth. There's so many lies out there. God wants you in truth for you to be with him in all eternity. You see, it comes back to that old thing called choice. Choice means you have more than one thing to choose from not to believe God or to believe him. 
not to follow God or to follow all the other people that are perishing. Only Noah's family, was the, they were the only ones saved. No one else believed. Lord, help us to be counted as those who will enter into that safety and be with Jesus Christ. All who believe the truth will be saved. That's the true faith of true believers. Through the true faith in Jesus Christ, we can escape the flood of judgments that are coming on the earth. There's going to be a whole flood, not, not a water flood, but there's going to be a whole bunch of judgments sent out as we read in Revelation. And these judgments are going to be on the wicked. And God is calling us out to rise up just as Noah went on top of the, of the tribulation. We're going to be called out just as in Sodom and Gomorrah, Lot was taken out before the judgment came. It's a true statement. It's truth. Even though we live in such a confused cloud of darkness in this world, we've got to come into the light and let God speak his truth into our hearts. We can't be double-minded. We can't be lukewarm. We have to be either in the ark or out of the ark. There's no other way. We're either in Christ, truly in Christ, or we're truly out of Christ. And in these days, just as John the Baptist came before Jesus came the first time, he said, prepare the way of the Lord. We need to be preparing the way of the Lord. We need to do what God is calling us to do for the sake of our own lives, for the sake of our family, for the sake of those around us. The true faith of true believers. Are you ready? Are you a true worshiper of the Lord? We're going to end with the wonderful song of worship where we get to present ourselves before the Lord. Here I am, Lord, to worship you. Here I am. May we present ourselves before him and worship in spirit and in truth. God bless you. We'll see you next time. Bye.